G'day all, Taz Daz here again. Welcome to my latest video. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm doing a review of a super size, well, man size, or should it be person size in this politically correct world? Southern style chicken from McCain's. So 50% larger than a standard frozen meal. So it's southern style chicken in a smoky barbecue sauce with peas and corn and mac and cheese. So that sounds pretty decent. Um, I'll put the nutrition information up on the screen for you. It's about 800 calories in this little sucker. Um, so pretty high in the calorie count and pretty high in the saturated fat and fat count as well. So it's not something you'd want to eat every day, that's for sure. Um, only way to cook it is in the microwave for about eight to eight and a half minutes. And it's got an ingredient list that reads like a novel. All right, so let's get this thing out of the box. So let's have a look at it. All right, open him up. Wow. All right, it's pretty, pretty substantial. So if you can see there, it's actually got two chicken patties. So there's one there and one there with the barbecue sauce on it. And then you've got your, turn it around that way, your mac and cheese and your peas and corn very weighty meal what does it say there 480 grams so in american terms one pound or nearly half a kilo all right so let's get it in the microwave and give it a try all righty and we're back with our southern style chicken meal so what i've done is i've got a bit of a little close-up video for you so let's have a look at the meal up close Alrighty, so here's our meal straight out of the microwave. So the mac and cheese, it seems to be just more like, it's not already mixed. So you've got the macaroni and then the cheese on top of it. So we've got to stir that up. Heaps of barbecue sauce on one of the chicken patties. And not so much on the other one. So we'll put some extra barbecue sauce on that one. And there's our peas and corn. So we've given our mac and cheese a bit of a stir up and that looks more like your traditional mac and cheese. All right, so what do you reckon? Do you reckon that looks all right? All right, so being that it's a Southern style chicken, hopefully it's got a um, nice bit of coating or whatnot in the breading. Oh God. The chicken's a little bit tough to get through. I'll show you this end of the patty. That's probably going to be easier. There you go. So you've got your chicken in there. You've got a fair bit of breading around it. So there's a piece there. So let's try the chicken without any sauce on it. So there's no real um, spices or anything like that in the breading. So I'm not sure why they're calling a, a southern style chicken. The end piece was quite dry and hard to chew. I'm just going to get another piece now. And I'm going to put some barbecue sauce with it. Like that. Okay. The chicken is okay. The breading is very thick and stodgy. And it is um, obviously not crispy at all. It's a bit soggy. So it's making it a little bit hard to actually eat the chicken. The um, smoky barbecue sauce was very subtle. It was almost overpowered by the chicken. So I'm just gonna try the barbecue sauce on its own. The sauce is nice. Very, it's got a, a, a kind of a, a vinegary tartness to it but nice flavor, not overly powerful in the flavors though. So that's probably why it's getting lost when I have it with the chicken. 
All right, so now let's try the mac and cheese. Whoa, bit of spillage there. So it's nicely coated in the cheese um, sauce once you stir it up properly. Smells like your typical mac and cheese. Wonder what it tastes like. So the mac and cheese itself is actually quite nice. It's nice and creamy, cheesy. The macaronis cook quite nicely. Um, definitely liking that. And of course, we've got to try the vegetables. So just your atypical standard frozen veggies, peas and corn. They're okay. Had better frozen peas and corn before, but they're edible. All right, um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, there we go, one final go at the chicken. So this one is absolutely coated in the barbecue sauce, um, just for the final analysis to give it a, a decent review. So when it's drowned in the barbecue sauce, you get the barbecue sauce flavor. Um, but the chicken is quite soggy. The breading is very soggy, but it actually makes it more edible because the bits that haven't been covered in sauce are quite dry. Okay, so the final taste will be a little bit of everything. All right. Oh, lots of spillage from the vegetables, but we've got our mac and cheese, our chicken. <laughs> so a bit of spillage there but we've got a bit of everything on there so when it's all combined together it actually isn't too bad it's um better than eating the chicken on its own the chicken is definitely a big letdown especially when they say southern style chicken the only southern style thing about it is the barbecue sauce um, disappointed that there's no southern style spicing in the bread crumbing. So for value they're about eight dollars normally. I got mine on special for six dollars. Yeah, It's gonna fill you up um, compared to a McDonald's meal it's bloody huge um, for similar kind of money. So value I'll give it seven and a half out of ten. The quality of it has let it down a bit which is why I've dropped the the rating of the value down and for flavor it's okay the mac and cheese was nice the vegetables are just vegetables they're okay um, and the chicken was definitely a letdown and the barbecue sauce was nice when you had enough of it so six and a half for flavor it's definitely edible definitely going to fill you up all right so that'll be it for this review of the McCain's man size or person size or whatever size you want to call it um, southern style chicken with the smoky barbecue sauce the mac and cheese and the peas and corn if you like this review please give me a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already to support the channel I really do appreciate it hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of any future videos and thanks for stopping by hopefully I shall see you on the next one bye